at the HUD.gov website and we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a property search. You'll notice here that there is a box where we can search for properties. First thing you want to do is choose a state and you can kind of drill down some by going to do a county search or a city search, zip code, or street search. Um, you can search by bedrooms, baths. Also, you can search by buyer type. So if you're working with an owner occupant, you can search for properties that are only in owner occupant phase or investor. Or if you're looking for properties under the Good Neighbor Next Door program, you can do that as well. And then you can also search by the status of a property, one where they're accepting bids, new listings, properties that have price reductions, pending bid opening and showcase properties. Um, property case number. Your property case number is the FHA number that HUD uses to distinguish each property. So if you know what that FHA case number is, you can also use that to search a property. But right now we're just going to do a general search for North Carolina. Currently in North Carolina, there are only five listings on the market. Um, I'm sure as agents, you are aware that right now we're experiencing very low inventory in every market, but we're rebounding, which is good. So this is a perfect time for us to get to know how to submit a bid, how to search and get familiar so that when things, um, when properties come back on the market and um, properties are flowing again and selling again really, really quickly, then we're in a position to take advantage of that. Right now, we're going to take a look at this property on Ramara Drive. As you will notice, we just talked about the case number. So this is what the HUD case number is for this particular property. Um, and each one of them does have a case number. You'll see that the property address is here, the list amount, the beds, the baths, and the, the uh, period that it's in. It's in the exclusive listing period. We'll talk a little bit about that a little later. Uh, also, a street map here and email information. So, but let's go ahead and check this case number. So this is gonna take you to the property details page. The eligible bidders are owner occupants, nonprofits, government agencies. The bid submission deadline is today at 11.59.59 p.m. Property address, where footage. Um, the property was listed on February 22nd, 2020. The, the list date is important because it will help you to determine what phase the property is currently in, whether it be owner occupant or all bidders. FHA financing. So this property is considered insured. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, 203K eligible, yes, 203K is a renovation loan. Let's also take a look at the addendums. When you go to the addendum tab, you'll notice that there is a property listing disclosure, property condition report, lead-based paint pamphlet because it's environmental compliance report, and an e-signature reference guide. Um, once upon a time, we had to do paper contracts with HUD. Now we have e-signature DocuSign. So they give you the e-signature quick reference guide. There is a map section here, right? To tell you where the property is. You can actually put your address, where you're coming from, and map it there. The agent information. This page is where you're going to find out who the asset manager for this property is, who the field service manager for this property is. The field service manager is the company that is um, tasked with keeping the property from falling into disrepair. The, the asset manager oversees marketing and sales. And we are, in this case, the listing broker for this particular property. So going back to property information, only a HUD registered bidder can submit an offer on any HUD property.